Hello, Brain Stuff! I'm Kristen, and today we're going to talk about the human voice. First off, let's acknowledge that everyone is a special and unique butter knife, and there's no rule about how men and women's voices should sound. But on average, adult men's voices have what's known as a lower fundamental frequency than adult women's voices. The fundamental frequency is simply the scientific term for how high or low a person's natural speaking voice is. Sound frequency is measured in hertz, which means how many times something happens in one second. So a sound wave that vibrates 100 times per second produces a tone of 100 hertz. The more cycles per second, the higher the pitch. Babies usually cry at a frequency of around 500 hertz. Children have speaking frequencies in the range of 250 to 400 hertz. By the time of adulthood, however, men have an average fundamental frequency of around 125 hertz, and women about 200 hertz. So what happened here? Why the hertz gender gap? Leading from your lungs to the cavity behind your mouth and nose is a pipeline called the trachea. You use it to breathe. At the top of the trachea is a hollow organ called the larynx, or in common parlance, the voice box. There are several factors that can all have some effect on the fundamental frequency of a person's voice, like the size of the larynx and the differential development in facial bone and cavities in the head. But the most important factor to talk about is the length of the vocal folds. If you pluck a string, the length of the string affects the frequency that note plays. Think about a guitar. When you press a string down to a higher fret on a guitar, you shorten the length of the part of the string that vibrates when you pluck it, and this produces a higher note. Same thing happens inside your larynx. During puberty, both boys and girls experience growth of the vocal folds, leading to lower voices. But the male hormone testosterone, which is released by the testicles during puberty, typically causes boys' vocal folds to grow longer and thicker than girls. On average, adult women have vocal folds somewhere around 10 millimeters long. Not bad, ladies while adult men have vocal folds in the neighborhood of 16 millimeters. Consequently, women are up there on the upper fret soloing into oblivion like a high school kid who just learned to play Eruption by Van Halen. And men are letting the open strings ring like the intro to Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. You know? You know? Bonus fact! Everyone knows what happens when you inhale some helium from a party balloon or, you know, straight from an industrial helium transport truck. Your voice pitch gets higher. This is because helium is less dense than air. But did you know you can reverse the effect and give yourself a deep, booming, bridge troll voice by breathing in a gas with a higher density than air like xenon or sulfur hexafluoride? But remember, your body needs air to live, and breathing anything other than air can be potentially dangerous, so we don't recommend trying this at home. 